Welcome back. Look who it is, our good back dear again. friend, Nathan McCartney from Arctic Food back Equipment. Again. Back at it again. How good, are you? Sir. Good, how are you guys? I'm good. Happy Easter. Yeah, happy Easter. To too. you and yours. Yeah, you too. You too. Good times. So what's going on at Arctic? So uh, we are here to uh, talk about our 30th anniversary, which is, wow. which is coming up next week. So we actually turned 30 on April 4th. Uh, which is also when our open house is going to be our big birthday celebration. We're going to have um, probably more food than anybody will be able to eat. Oh. We've got uh, a couple of our customers bringing food in, and then we've got um, some of our manufacturers come in. Like we're going to have smoked chickens, oh uh, maybe gosh. some smoked pork butts, doing some demos, smoothies, all kinds of fun stuff. So it's it's a lot of fun. We're really excited to to celebrate. Yeah, you know, 30 years. That's, that's and are awesome. they using all the equipment from you? A lot, everything? yes. A lot of the equipment. A lot of our manufacturers are bringing some of their own demo models, that kind of thing. Um, as you can see on our flyers, it's, we are having a 90s it's, theme party. So 90s. Oh, how fun! That, that is totally is. in Jeremy's wheelhouse. So we've got. I'm in. We got people our dressing funky up. Our onesies. And, um, yes, ma'am. I think we're gonna we're gonna have lights and, and 90s music and just. I mean, we're gonna do the whole thing. You know, 94 is when we started. So 94. We're gonna, gonna Wait, throw speaking back. of that, speaking of that, can you tell? I've I've interviewed your father and yeah. I've met your mother, who gave me great gardening tips. By the way. <laughs> Love true. her. It's that time I need to talk to her. I need to talk to her. She's amazing. Can you just give us the brief history of the company? Because your dad so eloquently told me one time in the store yeah, yeah. But it's a fascinating story so and actually I'm glad to talk about that because we've kind of done a little bit of a throwback even with some of our marketing so uh, my dad started the company in 94 uh, we moved here uh, from Tulsa uh, because he wanted to honor his non-compete clause that he had with his previous company there mm -hmm. but he wanted to start his own business so mm -hmm. we, we moved here um, I was seven my brother was um, three mm -hmm. uh, and oh. so we were we were really little um, dad's like I can't believe they loaned me money to buy a house I had a wife kids and <laughs> right no yeah money. and no money <laughs> <laughs> and they, but they did uh, and so it was him in a service truck and he would start on like sunshine or glenstone and he would just make right hand turns until uh, somebody would put him to work and he would hand out uh, discount cards he said 10% off your first service you know and wow. he said usually before I reached the end of the street I'd, I'd get a job and then if not I'd turn around and do rights the other direction and <sighs> Um, we got started that way. We actually kind of got into a lot of the Chinese restaurants early. They, they said, hey, Mark's an honest man. He does good work. Uh, and then they started telling all their friends and family. So we have a long relationship with a lot of those restaurants, uh, Peking House, Leong's, a lot of the places oh, that have wow. been around forever. I love this. Um, and then the other thing that was kind of neat is Rapid Roberts was still fairly young uh, at that time. And, wow. and somehow dad kind of made a connection with them. Uh, and they were some of our early customers as well. That was really his kind of first franchise that really, mm. really kind of helped give him a good steady income, a good, a good amount. Um, and so we've we've kind of got to grow up with them. Like I said, they're a little bit older, but but mm -hmm. not much. And so it's been neat yeah. to have kind of two local companies grow together with a, a good relationship. And you know, Dad always said, "Well, it's just going to be me in a truck, and I don't necessarily want to have a whole lot of guys." He said, "Maybe if we have three, then I could be on call one weekend a month." And yeah, uh, you know, I wouldn't have to be every call. Well, I mean, now we're now we're huge. We've got yeah. like 18 or 20 employee um, service employees, and we've got a sales team. And you know, Dad just like it just kind of kept growing, and I just kind of yeah. <laughs> So he never really never set out to do this, I don't think. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm really proud to get to work with Dad and be the second generation and, and come wow. in and take over. And um, you know, my my son is six now, so he's a little bit younger than when Dad started. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I have memories of working on call. I don't even know why. Like I think maybe Mom was doing something, and so my brother and I were riding with Dad on a Saturday. Oh, oh how um, cool! I, I was sitting in the back of Peking House watching Dad clean an ice machine, and and they were bringing us leg rolls and oh, <laughs> this is the stuff best. And just just hanging out. And so I've I've been around. Um, my first job was at Arctic. I, I got a job in high school. I was supposed to work um, as a lifeguard. Dad told me that wasn't a real job uh, and that I was going to come work for them. And I was like, yeah. this, is, this is a really hot, hard yeah. work, you know? Yeah. Um, but I was on the roof cleaning ice machine or cleaning air conditioners. And, wow. Um, I'd go into come and goes and clean the ice machines. I'd even come back from college in the summer. I'd work for dad. He's like, I'm busy. We're slammed. We're way behind. Get in uh, there. <laughs> go do stuff. I'd drive parts around town. So I've been, I've been there since high school, took a break for the Air Force, um, basically, and came back. Um, so it's really neat. We've got a lot of those employees that have been with us. Mm -hmm. um, I think our longest serving employee has been around um, 25 years this year. So wow. 25, 26 years. So, I mean, basically since the beginning, um, we've got oh. a few that are over 20, a lot over 15. So they've grown with us too. And mm -hmm. so it's just been really neat uh, to see that growth and, and just the families we've been able to impact, the families that have had impacts on our family, mm -hmm. um, and just then the, the relationships across Springfield that we've yeah. got to build with all kinds of great restaurants. Wait, how long has Kurt Kendrick been there? So he's actually, it's like, I think he's coming on four years now. Okay, um, we love him. Sorry, his, I just had to ask yeah. him too. Yeah. Yeah. His dad's been there, um, I think 10 now. So, yeah. um, you know, we've, we just, we have a lot, and that's a good point, we've got Multiple father sons. Yes, I was gonna say family owned, family operated, but yeah. like not just your family. You now have made a, a, a bigger family within yeah. you know. Yeah, it's the, it, it really truly is a family business, and, and the 
greatest sense. I mean, we know each other, um, know each other's families, kids, the whole thing. So yeah. we're really looking forward to celebrating and just really excited. It's such a testament to my dad and, and really sure just is. the great employees we have to, to make it 30 years. Can you tell everybody the date and time again? Yes. Because Maddie, this is during our time I period. I was going to yeah, say, yeah. yeah. Come see it. I know. And we so, have outfits already. Yeah, so it's <laughs> April 4th uh, from 11 to 2, uh, but we'll be open 8 to 5. So if you're here a little early or you're a little late, if you're late, there'll still be food. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> every, every year we're, we're yeah. like, well, take it home, guys. Take, take it home. home. Everyone so, take it home. And you don't have home. to dress 90s if no. you don't want to. You don't want to. I mean, but. I, I don't even really know. I, don't, I was pretty small when the 90s were. I, I have a wind jacket somewhere, I think. Thanks but for rubbing that. There you most go. Of <laughs> most of my stuff doesn't fit anymore. Yeah. I've got a little oh, taller. Since right, then. right. So April 4th, 11 to 2. I can, I'm going to go by. I'm going to check, check my calendar because that looks yeah. so Out at fun. Arctic, right? Out at Arctic, yep. Okay. Yeah, and we're at 1501 South Enterprise. 1501 South Enterprise. There's giveaways, too. Okay. Giveaways, too. Awesome. We're so excited. All right, guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be back with lots more fun after this.